Hi, in this video I will show you how to uh, work with a Docker uh, application in Visual Studio. So Docker is a containerization. Uh, it's keeping all stuff together uh, in one in one file or in one container uh, instead of uh, deploying everything uh, in separate. So when you create an application like this one uh, in here, new project, then in your visual, we are now in Visual Studio 2022. When you go there to, let's say, ASP.NET Core web app, it's a typical stuff or web API, for example, go there and say web application. Uh, let's say this is one is my new core application, new uh, Docker, and let's say Docker, Docker web app 01 and say next one. And you see here, that's the uh, position where it happens, uh, enable Docker. So you need therefore uh, the Docker support and our supporting system is in this case Windows uh, because we want to install it on, uh, we have some Windows functions and do it in Azure. So say create, now uh, you see it's starting. It takes its stuff and you, you want to install Docker desktop. Yes, uh, I want to install it. Otherwise it won't happen. And you see this one, it's, uh, it automatically switches to Docker. Uh, it doesn't switch uh, normal cases to the app or HTTP, it goes to Docker. You say yes. Now you see uh, something running there already and so on. Background task, but I think it's not installing Docker itself. Warming up Docker debugging for a project. So there is still missing Docker desktop. While this is running, uh, I'm preparing something else. Uh, I go to my web app here to my web and then my uh, we will say Docker desktop as a download. You find the download Docker desktop and then we go here to your download Docker desktop for Windows. Then you see it downloading. While we're downloading, we will still see that uh, the app is not starting because it's still in starting to warm up Docker de de uh, debugging, so it will fail here. And we are still in download mode. Now it's starting to install Docker Desktop, initializing. Meanwhile, this one is still ready and <laughs> running for uh, for the application, so it's still there. Uh, use uh, WSL2 instead of Hyper-V, recommended, yes. Now, come on, I'm in hurry. It's installing the bin files, the resources. Now, system is installed and we may close it now. We make a link on our site and we go to our app again. You see Docker uh, desktop installed successfully. Uh, you need to be restarted to uh, complete the installation. Do you want to restart that application? Yes, we want to restart. And after this, we are able to run our application from Visual Studio inside that app. So uh, what we see here is, I can't show it at the moment. We have the, the Docker uh, file there running.